Here we are back in VS Code and connected to the Raspberry Pi. Now, this time I've not turned on the motors because we're just testing the sensor out. We don't need the motors to move for that. I also have a piece of paper with a black line printed out. This is available from the same GitHub repository as all of the code. So just take that and print it out and I'll leave a link in the description for that. So same as in the SD card setup video, instead of using the GPIO zero folder, I'm going to use the RPI GPIO folder. And there's a script inside that for detecting a line under the robot. So let's first open up the script and take a look at what's inside. The script here is five line.py. And we can see here that it takes a pin for the line sensor. It sets up the GPIO and then it will repeatedly check whether it's seeing a black surface or a white surface. So let's start by running this and seeing what happens. I'm going to change directory into the code folder and then use sudo python to execute the script. And here we're seeing a white surface. Now if I pick the robot up, we can see that it's seeing a black surface because the light is not returning. And if I hold the paper in front of it, we're now seeing a white surface. When the robot is close to the line, it's still seeing white. And when it goes over the top of the black surface, it starts seeing a black line. So that shows that the line sensor is working. And you can see when you run this for yourself, that there is a small red light that comes out of the line sensor that it uses to illuminate the surface beneath it. However, in my case, where I have mounted the line sensor, it's not close enough to the surface that the robot is on to see whether there's a line or not. When I put this on a flat surface and I run it across the black line, it always says that it's a white surface. So what I need to do now is take the line sensor from where I've mounted it and put another piece of maybe cardboard in the way just to move it closer to the flat surface that the robot is sitting on. So let's do that and then we'll test again and see how it looks. Now, after adding the extra padding from a piece of paper that I folded up a few times, my line sensor is much closer to the surface and I'm able to reliably detect a line underneath. So now if I rerun the script and I again move the robot across the surface of the paper, It can now reliably detect a line. Now that we've got the line sensor working, it's time to work on the distance sensor, which will be in the next video.